Hello, you're watching the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. Under the patronage of the Speaker of the Representative Council, Mr. Ahmed bin Salman Al Msallam, the Parliamentary Forum for People with Determination 2023 was launched, organized by the General Secretariat of the Council and in cooperation with a number of relevant official and civil authorities. The forum discussed the challenges facing people with disabilities to provide them with solutions and the ways to enable them to engage in society through four public discussion sessions that included 12 working papers, inspiring stories and experiences in various fields of work and development, in addition to launching an award titled Empowerment of People with Determination. The forum aims to bring people with disabilities closer to the legislative authority to develop the laws and regulations that suit their needs. The Representative Council yesterday held its weekly session presided over by the Speaker, Mr. Ahmed bin Salman Al Msallam. The Council approved the Shura Council's decision to reject, in principle, regarding a draft law amending Article 127 BIS of the Code of Criminal Procedures. It also approved a draft law regarding the direct facilitation agreement in favor of the water transmission project associated with the independent Adur station for the production of electricity and water desalination. The Council approved the reports of the specialized committees regarding a number of proposals for laws and referred them to the government. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Mr. Ali Al Saleh, chaired the meeting held by the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee of the Shura Council to present the state's general budget for the fiscal years 2024. 2023-2024 and the agreements reached between the representatives of the executive and legislative authorities. Mr. Asal affirmed that the efforts made during the discussion of the draft general budget reflected the keenness of the two authorities to achieve the interests of the country and its citizens. He expressed thanks and appreciation to the head and members of the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee of the Shura Council and their significant role in discussing the draft general budget. For his part, the head of the Financial and Economic Committee, Khalid al Masqati, affirmed that the meeting presented the efforts made during the last period to discuss the draft general budget with full transparency and to provide full opportunity to review the details of the joint meetings held between the two authorities. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa attended a celebration organized by MAN program against violence and addiction. The event included the honoring of supporters of the program and the launch of the MAN Security Awareness Exhibition 2023. The Minister of Social Development, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment, the Minister of Information, the Minister of Education, the Minister of Youth Affairs and senior officials attended the event. During the ceremony, the Interior Minister expressed gratitude for the distinguished outcomes of the program within the community security system, hailing the performance of Bahrainis and their capabilities to overcome challenges, achieve goals, and continue operations with excellence. He said the increase in the number of schools and students that cover the program and the development and introduction of new awareness curricula on peaceful coexistence, anti-extremism, and cybersecurity demonstrate its flexibility in tackling security and social changes. He noted that active security awareness requires the expansion of the use of modern technology, advanced methods, and ongoing operations to reinforce community partnership to reach out to the targeted audiences. Meanwhile, the Interior Ministry's Undersecretary for Nationality, Passports, and Residence Affairs and head of the Man Program Committee Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa asserted that the support and directives of the Interior Minister had contributed to the implementation of all the program's initiatives and activities that aim to protect generations and enhance security awareness and social responsibility. He said the initiatives are based on citizenship principles and back the crime prevention efforts of the Interior Ministry. Sheikh Hisham added that security is the responsibility of the community including all individuals and segments of society. Therefore, MAN, as one of the initiatives of the National Plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the nation and reinforce the values of nationalism, works to correct the thoughts and behavior of young people. He said that MAN covers 196 out of 211 schools and 136,000 students, which has contributed to reducing bad practices at schools by 56%. 
After that, the Interior Minister honored the members of the National Anti-Drug Committee, the representatives of some cooperative organizations, and outstanding police personnel who teach the various curricula. He expressed appreciation to them for being successful partners of MAN, describing it as a distinguished community initiative. He also launched the MAN Security Awareness Exhibition 2023, showcasing curricula for various age groups, communication channels with parents, and animation movies. I'm very impressed by the MAN program, how professional it is, how thoughtful um, the messages that it conveys are, and the way that the uh, ministry is putting it across with a human face, with um, direct inter uh, interventions with community policing officers, engaging with younger people, and using technology very clever use of technology um, to convey the right messaging and to explain things through games and in other ways that I'm sure young people will find very compelling. It's also great to see the very close working with all of the different departments and agencies. So this involves education, it involves social services, it involves lots of different agencies of government, not just the MOI. And I salute the way that they're all working closely together uh, in a very professional way. From our perspective, this is exactly the kind of program that uh, uh, illustrates and kind of highlights kind of Bahrain strengths. It's focused on education, children, really building in kind of the skills to, to understand their role in society, to resist kind of uh, actions that kind of hurt each other, bullying, uh, to understand how to analyze information, and to grow up to be kind of strong citizens and decent people. The other thing that's really impressive to me about this program, it was all designed here. The programming, the curriculum, this all came from Bahrain, the virtual reality. This is all by Bahrainis for Bahrainis. So from my perspective as a representative of the U.S. government, this is really an amazing event and we just want to congratulate uh, the ministry and all the people involved in this. Today we had the inauguration of uh, Man Security Awareness Exhibition 2023 and uh, the exhibition contains uh, several sections on a digital scale. So our services are being converted into technology based and uh, are transferred to our students uh, within this exhibition which is going to be uh, distributed throughout the governorates. One of the sections was about the virtual reality where the student can experience the lesson in a virtual world where he can see the, the consequences of the negative uh, phenomena that he's going to practice and what are the skills that he requires to overcome those uh, negative phenomena. And he gets like questions by the police officer and everything's happening virtually and then he answers and even if he answers wrong he's going to know what is the right answer. The Minister of Labor, Mr. Jamil Hamedan, inaugurated the Recruitment Expo 2023 held at Bahrain Polytechnic in the presence of the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture and Chairman of the College Board of Trustees, Mr. Wael Al Mubarak. The event aims to enhance career counseling and guidance for university students by reviewing available jobs in the labor market and introduce market needs and various job specializations, especially in emerging and future professions in the technological sectors and the knowledge economy. Mr. Ahmedan stressed that the government is aware of the importance of the contributions of national and private universities and institutions as a social partner to achieve the harmonization of education and training outputs with the needs of the labor market and is role in launching many pioneering national initiatives aimed at promoting the integration of graduates in the labor market as well as the optimal investment of national human resources. He pointed out that these initiatives will be strengthened by launching the employment skills platform at the national level. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, asserted the importance of the fruitful discussion held during the meeting of the World Health Assembly in its 76th session to overcome future challenges on the most important health issues. During a speech at the conclusion of her chairmanship of Main Committee A, the Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for their unlimited support to the progress of the health sector in Bahrain and for increasing international health cooperation, which contributed to achieving the desired goal objectives for sustainable development and health-related initiatives. She also expressed thanks and appreciation to all regional directors and the WHO team, headed by the WHO Director General, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, for their continuous support. 
The minister affirmed that this position marks a new achievement for Bahrain and reflects its keenness to work with the WHO to implement programs and initiatives that would develop the performance of health systems and enhance health security in various countries of the world. She also expressed appreciation for the efforts made by the Director General of Legal Affairs and Human Rights Ambassador Dr. Youssef Abdel Karim Bouchiri, the permanent mission of Bahrain to the UN in Geneva, and the accompanying delegation from the health sector in Bahrain. And the Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, also met with the WHO Director General, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, on the sidelines of the 76th session of the World Health Assembly held in Switzerland, Geneva. The Minister lauded the WHO's role in achieving comprehensive health, affirming Bahrain's Health Ministry's interest in continuing to implement its joint programs, plans and initiative with the WHO. She praised the World Health Organization's support for regional and global health issues, citing its recent declaration that COVID-19 is no longer a global health emergency, reflecting the organization's advanced performance and success in overcoming many challenges towards reaching sustainable development goals. The two sides reviewed several topics of common interest and discussed areas of cooperation and coordination between Bahrain and the WHO, stressing the importance of proactive plans and future programs related to confronting outbreaks and infectious disease. For his part, the WHO Director General expressed thanks and appreciation to the Kingdom for its efforts to develop the health sector and decades-long cooperation with the WHO, hailing the effective role played by the WHO country office in Bahrain since its opening. He lauded the health minister's chairing of the WHO's main committee A during the 76 WHO's World Health Assembly session, noting that it is the first time that Bahrain holds such a high-level position that requires dealing with key technical issues. He commended the health system in Bahrain, highlighting its successes and distinguished achievements regarding the provision of high-quality integrated preventative and treatment services for all the citizens and residents. Beyond announced the completion of the second phase of its solar park project during a ceremony held on this occasion in the presence of a number of ministers. The chairman of the board of directors of Beyond Corporation, Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, affirmed that the company's efforts are directed towards achieving sustainability plans and producing clean energy. Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalifa noted that the company's march in the field of environmental sustainability continues in line with the commitment to Bahrain's vision launched by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the Kingdom's commitment to reach zero neutrality by 2060. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Mr. Abdullah Fakhro, held a meeting with the Secretary for Councillor Affairs, Passports, Visas and Overseas Expatriates Affairs at the Indian Ministry of External Affairs, Dr. Awsaf Saeed and his accompanying delegation on the sideline of his official visit to Bahrain to attend the sixth session of consultation between Bahrain and India. Mr. Fakhro affirmed that the depth of the relations between Bahrain and India, stressing the importance of leveraging these historical relations to develop economic partnerships and common goals achieved. The meeting reviewed a number of common economic issues and discussed Bahrain's attractive investment environment as well as the initial positive results from the official visit of Bahrain's economic delegation to India. The foreign ministries of Bahrain and India held the sixth round of political talks chaired by the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, and the Secretary for India's Councillor Affairs, Passports, Visas and Overseas Expatriate Affairs at the Indian Ministry of External Affairs, Dr. Awsaf Saeed. Both sides reviewed the ways of enhancing joint cooperation between the two friendly countries in political, commercial, investment, scientific and security fields. They also discussed exchanging expertise in the security and space science domain and spotlighted regional and international topics of mutual concern.